if you're anything like me, you might have way too much washi tape that is probably going to take you a hundred or more journals to actually use up completely. And although there are plenty of ways to use up that washi tape outside of your journal, whether that be in card making, present wrapping, or even nail art, today we're specifically going to focus on how you can use it in your journal. As always, any of the equipment I've used can be found in the description box below, along with a 10% discount code for the washi tape shop, who kindly sent me some washi tapes which motivated me to make this video. Without further ado though, let's get into our ideas. Starting with some decorative ideas, you can use washi tape to decorate the edge of your page, whether that be the vertical edge or the horizontal edge. Here you can see I've laid some washi tape down so that one side touches right to the top edge of the page, and then I've ripped it in half lengthways to create a ripped texture. You can also use washi tape to make decorative headers, whether that be a simple individual piece of washi tape, doing some layering with an additional piece or two, or using washi tape to set up a banner like we have here. It's good to note that depending on the type of washi tape you're using, you might need to be careful regarding what pen you're using to write over the top of this, just as some pens won't dry on certain types of washi tape. The next idea is to use your washi tape as a divider. This could either be to separate your page title from the rest of your page's content, or you could use it to make columns and rows on your page, rather than ruling in dividing lines. I personally like to do this with thinner washi tapes like I've done here, but you could also make more decorative dividers using wider washi tapes. Similar to the decorative edge idea, you can also use washi tape to make decorative page corners. In this instance, I've laid the washi tape across the corner of the page and then trimmed off the excess that hangs over. This is a nice way to add a little bit of decoration without having it take up as much space as the decorative edge idea. Washi tape can also be used much like the way that you use stickers. Some washi tapes will come with elements or designs that you can cut out individually and use just like their stickers. But on the other hand, you can always cut out your own designs using scissors or paper punches to make other shapes. Here I'm making a little washi hanging flag, which could be used in the form of something like day numbers on a weekly spread or something similar. Of course, washi tape can just be used to fill in blank space in your layouts. And I feel like this is the way that I most commonly see it used. Again, for this one you could go with just the individual piece, or more commonly, people like to layer several tapes that work together. Another idea for washi tape, and sadly not one that I featured on this page, is that you can use washi in the place of markers to do colouring in. For instance, if you've drawn out the line work for a doodle or illustration, you can then lay washi tape over the top of this and cut it to the correct size and shape using a craft knife to effectively colour in sections of your drawing. Sectioning that part of the page off though, the next idea we have is to use washi to make borders in your journal. This could be a border for the page or spread as a whole, or you could use the washi to make smaller sections or boxes for your layout. Our next idea could be used for function or decoration, but this is to use washi tape to attach a tip end to your journal. This just involves cutting your tip end paper to the size you want, I'm using an off cut from a previous Dutch door, and then sticking one edge of this to your page using washi tape. What I also like to do to make the tip in just a bit more secure is to flip it over and then also run another strip of washi down the sticking edge, just to make sure it's really secure from both sides. Ways that I've used this idea previously is to tip in a key to the front of my journal, and I also featured a tip in in my previous video on grid spacing guide ideas. This idea of course uses washi tape for its similarness to sticky tape, and then naturally it follows that you can just use washi tape to stick things into your journal. Although functional, this can also be considered to be decorative. As well as this, using washi tape to stick things in can also be useful for items that you might want to remove later. So thinking of that key example, maybe that's something that you don't want to draw out again and again with each new journal. By sticking it in with washi tape, you can move it to your next journal when you're finished with your current one. For our next set of ideas, I've gone ahead and stuck in some more little tip-ins, just to mimic the pages of your journal. Our first idea for these is using washi tape to mark the edge of your page. So rather than bringing your washi just to the edge of the page, you actually lay it down so that it hangs over. You can then turn the page and fold the washi tape over to stick it to the other side. This can be useful to mark special or important pages in your journal, so for instance pages that you might want to refer to later, or to mark the start of a new month, etc. Another way you can use washi tape is on or as page tabs. So this could be as a way to make Dutch door tabs more sturdy or just decorative, 
or you can actually make tabs out of the washi tape by sticking a longer strip to one side and then turning the page over and sticking it to the other side such that a little bit of the washi hangs out. Our next idea, and the way that I honestly use washi tape the most in my journal, is to mask your page to create crisp and neat edges when putting down colour. The washi tape protects the page and lets you be a bit more haphazard with your colouring, without fear of having the colour go somewhere that you don't want it. I also find this to be a much easier way to get consistent colour as well, because you can work fast enough that you don't get those darkened sections from going over a space twice with your marker. Our next idea is to use washi tape in your trackers. This could involve having different colours or patterns to signify different things, for example different moods or different levels of productivity, or instead you could use strips of washi to make a bar graph that shows how much of something was done, like how many steps you did, how much study, how much sleep, etc. The example I have here is a little clothesline type design where each piece of differently patterned washi tape represents each day or something similar. Question of the day for you though, do you use washi tape in your journal? If so, what's your favourite way to use it? And if not, how come? Personally, I do enjoy using washi tape, but I don't seem to use it very often. And as I mentioned, I am also use it to do the masking the page trick, because I love crisp edges. Hopefully this list of ideas has been useful for you guys though, and as always team, thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, please do make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more on planning, productivity, and personal development. Until next time, bye!